Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of What The Scrap. I am Zemore, the dad in Dad Play Stuff, and before we start, don't forget to drop down below the video and hit that like button, comment on what type of Fallout 76 resources you'd like in a video, and subscribe for more content from myself in the future. Now today's resource can be a massive pain early game, and that is screws. These are used for just about anything, from weapons to armour to mods themselves. As a result, you'll need a lot of these in order to traverse the wasteland of Appalachia. So for starters, early game, as you explore, be on the lookout for desk fans and toys. And by toys, I mean anything like toy cars, trucks and giddy-up buttercups. Although only a complete horse or its body part will scrap for screws. Now, there are a ton of places that you can find these items, but I have two in particular that are great for this. The first being White Springs. Now, once you spawn in for the screws, you're going to have to head over to the cabins. Fight your way through the ghouls, and as you do, make sure to look out for any of the aforementioned items. There are a couple of desk fans, there are plenty of toys, and pay particular attention to the toy shop. It's in one of the cabins, really easy to see, lots of lights and yeah looks like a little shop and it usually has a buttercup on the floor and multiple cars and trucks on the shelf then once you've passed this there is one of the largest houses in white springs upstairs in one of the rooms also contains some toys to loot I'm not going to lie, White Springs does show up in a lot of my videos. It's a generally good place to just farm for a lot of things. So when you're here, make sure when you're killing the ghouls as well to make sure you're looting everything because obviously they can drop things like death fangs and toys just because they're ghouls and they have random crap usually on them. Now the next area of interest is Sugar Grove, and the items in particular this time you'll be looking for is desk fans. The place has all in all about 12 of them in total, and make sure as you search this area that you're also keeping your eye out for things like clipboards and lamps. They're usually in the same area as the, the fans, and they give springs and copper, which are also really good for weapons and ammo and whatnot. And if you've watched my asbestos video, you'll see exactly what other loot there is there in regards to that. Now this final method is the end game method and it involves nukes, specifically nuking the Monaga mine and this will activate an event called a colossal problem. Now if you've never done this you basically venture deep inside the mine which again can only be opened during a nuclear blast and inside you're going to find a couple of wendigo spawns. Wendigos drop screws usually around six to I think about eight maybe um, and on top of that once you've waited a couple of minutes inside the mine, it'll open up further and inside is a named Wendigo Colossus by the name of Errol Williams. Now Errol will on occasion spawn more Wendigos and again, each drops more screws. I'm going to level with you, I have no idea how many mobs he spawns. All I know is that for this method you will get an ass load of screws and some legendary gear by the end of it. Obviously Errol drops uh, a legendary because he's a three star legendary. Once you complete the mission usually you get a three star legendary, sometimes even two. And yeah, just make sure that once Errol is dead you don't do what the mission says, to flee the mine. Instead, Travel round and loot up any Wendigo cor uh, corpses left behind because escaping the mine happens automatically once the timer runs down so you don't really need to leave. So that's today's video guys, I hope it helped you out and once again if it did don't forget to subscribe, leave a like and comment down below on which scrap item you would like to see in a future video. As with this one, obviously once you've done the arrow method getting screws is really not that hard um it's just about you know launching nukes and getting key cards and things like that because i've noticed recently people aren't really targeting the monaga mine with nukes they seem to be focusing more on the scorch beast queen i'm not really sure why but it could be that they've had their fill and you know they're sick of arrow but either way if you've never done them before he is a very good method for getting yourself some screws and with that, I'll catch you all next time, guys, in the wasteland.